Hi, I'm Clive, and I'm part of a fantastic group that's putting together a comedy called Mal and Cara at the Pal Theatre downtown. Now, as you may or may not know, a theatrical production can make or break on its Saturdays. Well, last Saturday, we ran into, well, some smoke. We weren't thinking when we booked the production on April 20th. That's right, 420. The 420 protest downtown absolutely killed our Saturday sales. So, I'm here asking you to come join us this Saturday to see Mal and Cara, a great comedy starring Malcolm Stead and Sarah Harlow. And in the meantime, we've had a chance to think about how we should have done it differently and how maybe we could have marketed Mal and Cara knowing the 420 event was going on downtown. So, our top 10 list of ways we could have marketed this play tonight knowing the 420 festival was on. Number 10. We won't be using the smoke machine tonight. Instead, we will just open the windows. <laughs> <laughs> Number nine. We go down to English Bay and leave a trail of chips leading to the theater. <laughs> <laughs> Top 10 ways that we could have marketed tonight. Number eight. Sell tickets for 420. <laughs> And number seven? Change the name of the play to Mal and Mary Jane. <laughs> <laughs> number six? For the show, we'll have someone standing by the stage to explain all the jokes. <laughs> and number one. Ha, 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 ha.